Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have Acer Nitro 5 or Acer Nitro 5. The exact model is an AN515-52-738F. I'll leave that link, that information on the screen. That information can be found on the stick on the bottom or inside the BIOS. Now, in this model, that, that applies for any Nitro 5, 515, this uh, video. What we're going to do in here, I'm going to open it up and show you guys what are the configuration for the storage and how you can upgrade them and what are the drives that you can put in here. Just remember, once you remove the main drive in here that you have your Windows in there and you put the new one in, you have to install Windows freshly installed from the USB drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. And to install it is fairly easy. I made another video on an Acer laptop how to install Windows without getting any of those bloatware installed or those affiliated programs installed. Check any of my Windows installation guide and you'll be set to go. Installing Windows is super easy. It takes five to 10 minutes and it's, it's fun to do it and you'll learn something new. All right, in this video, I'm just gonna show you the methods, how to open it and are the combination that the drives you can have here and the limits. All right, first thing first, back up your files, power off the laptop. And what we're gonna do, flip it upside down. And I'm gonna go over the tool that I'll be using is an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get the pro set, they'll include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set. From this tool set, we're gonna use a Phillips number one. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar picks, a suitable to opening cases and covers. And that should be all for now, right? So down here, I see two right away, two covers in here, and I see obviously this is for the RAM, as we're gonna remove it, that we have to. So we will remove one screw, and we put our finger in there, screw, just lift it up, pop it open, and there's two RAMs. You don't need to remove this screw, but this screw goes all the way down, grab it from the base metal, all right? So we're gonna leave that right there, and we're gonna go back to this other cover, which is the hard drive. We're gonna lift it, Put the screw right there and lift it up the cover. And we can see this is a mechanical drive and it's been held down by four screws, which is holding the bracket, which is called a caddy. So we're gonna remove these four tiny screws. And this is a one terabyte Toshiba brand, I guess. Let me double check that. Lift it up gently. Don't pull it too hard. There's a flex cable right there. You wanna gently detach this adapter right there. Be gentle with it. And there's a Toshiba low profile. So you can put up to two terabyte low profile mechanical drive in here. I'll leave that link in the video description. Or you can grab any SSD up to four terabyte, any SSD, because any, all the SSDs are low profile and it will have the same connection and it will fit perfectly fine. So to replace it, you do need this metal caddy bracket to hold the next hard drive in place. So you need to remove one, two, three, four screws and remove this metal and Put this new hard drive in there, make sure the orientation of the drive is in the same place and put the four screws on top. So here, this one combination you can put four terabyte SSD or two terabyte low profile mechanical drive in here. Now people will say, okay, then that's it, no? No, there's one more thing. This is a SATA connection, so this is a slow connection. If you put a solid state drive, it will work as a SATA three if speed as a normal speed. But there's an NVMe in here that you can upgrade and I don't know why they don't give you the cover for that. They give you power for the RAM, but they don't give you cover for the NVMe, which is much, much faster. So what I will do, I'll put a two terabyte or four terabyte SSD in here and I will replace my Optane, which is actually the, give you the logo right in here, Optane, right in here. Optane is pretty much like a cache uh, catch it, stuff like that. So it pretty much takes the file, pre-reads from the hard drive, moves it there so you can respond faster to the CPU. But honestly, the Optane's are just something like this. They're useless, honestly. So we're gonna remove that Optane and you can press, put a up to four terabyte NVMe drive or I like this one, Crucial 500 gig or two terabyte, whatever you want and put the windows on this one which be significantly faster than putting it on an SSD right in here. All right, so to get to that one, we're gonna remove all the screws all around in here, even in the mid, everything. So go ahead and remove all of them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. 
go ahead and remove them also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area so now there we go we removed all these screws now make sure you haven't missed any grab the opening tool and you're going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest and you just want to twist it like that and you want to hit big click sounds that's fine though that the clips are getting loosened you're not breaking anything so just move work yourself around in the front end go all the way to the back corner right in the back corner left and right same way that you did the front i'm sticking only about what one or two millimeter guitar picks i'm not sticking the whole thing in there once you did a little bit of it grab it from the front wiggle it around push it towards the back and it will release the bottom cover and right away we can see look they could have give you a bigger compartment here move this screw a little higher you don't actually need this screw give you a cover in here and put the screw over the cover just like they did it on the ramp so you could have easily had an access to this drive right in here but no they didn't now to remove this optane you do not need to disconnect the battery it's absolutely not necessary but if you want to be cautious and do it just pull this jack backward evenly to put it in again align it in front and push it towards the jack so if you think you're flimsy you're gonna drop stuff on the board sure this is screw is a phillips number zero remove the screw right on the nvme and the nvme uh, will pop open this is an optane anyway so on a 45 degree angle now you want to grab it and pull it back in a 45 degree angle right now you can grab any other drive that you want nvme's optanes come with a two notch on them but nvme has one notch on them so this is a Samsung brand, one terabyte. So we're gonna put it in a 45 degree inside the jack and we're gonna push it down, hold it and put the single screw right on top, right there. Now, uh, to show you guys that it's working, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna power it on. And I'm gonna grab my Windows installation here windows i have windows 10 here but whatever just put it inside any of the usb port power on and it should get me to the windows installation not boot, bootable drive so f12 i guess let's move the this to this side delete let's see if f12 is activated you see if if f12 is not activated I did boot up. So this USB didn't work, so I put another one. It worked fine. So now it's gonna take me to the Windows installation. In the second step, uh, installation is gonna show me the drive and it should show me one terabyte drive in there. So let's wait. I'll probably fast forward this part. All right, so I'm gonna choose next. Install now. You don't have to put the bottom covers anything to turn it on so i click i don't have a like cd key product key and then you're going to agree to terms and condition next advance and there we have one terabyte i'm going to delete all the partition in that drive and there we go one terabyte drive ready just click next to install the window so you can see you can put up to four terabyte with no problem that's a pci express lane and up to now to the today's date there's a four terabyte nvme drive that you can put in there all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold down the turn off button and once it shut down i can securely turn it off remove the drive flip it upside down and roll back whatever i did so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this drive as was doing this video for demonstration pull it out and put it back to its place again always make sure you can only put a single sided nvme that means there should be no chip on the other side otherwise it will not sit down flat in here there's a four terabyte crucial that it has a single sided 
chip that will fit in there with no problem. All right. So we're going to grab our useless Optane and we're going to slide it in there and we're going to put it in here. There we go. Now what we need to do here, grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push the corners, the front, and make sure you hear those nice big click sounds all around. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together and it will go to its place. Grab this hard drive adapter, gently work in a tight space and softly put it in there, align it, and put the four screws on the caddy, on the bracket. Oh, this is screws are Phillips number one, otherwise you will struggle putting it in. All right, now all you need to do is to grab the cover for the hard drive, put it right on top, push it down, the RAM, push down, and put the rest of the screws all over the place. And this is how you can upgrade your storage or add or remove storage for your ACR Nitro 5. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.